sick of the back teeth for all this. Beginning to sound like I'm not going out there. Mum and Dad are having a discussion. A loud discussion. An argument. What am I, Glenda? A servant? Okay, a fight. A slave? No need to shout. I don't know what it's about, but it's been going on for a while. Do this, do that, drop me here, drop me there. Oh, I'm a taxi driver too. Maybe you should just stop complaining, Donning. Oh. This is the second loud discussion in two days. We've been loudly discussing a lot lately. Oh, I'm not just a taxi driver. I'm a taxi driver with a bank account. Buy me this, buy me that. I'm not made of money. Money. That's the really um, bad one. Money. Whenever they're loudly discussing, it always ends up being about money. Anyone would think I was a mint or something. Where's he going? Don Price Taxi Service is now leaving! Mum, where's Dad gone? Don't ask. Mosquito net, thermos, sunscreen and... Where's the torch? How about camping without a torch? When's he coming back? Your guess is as good as mine. He's tired of being a slave taxi driver with a bank account. I bet he took the torch with him. Oh, my God, I have to marry the man. I'm just going to have to buy another torch on the way. I can't believe your mum's coming to the camp without your dad. Then we can go. My parents can't stand to be apart. Mine can. My parents split up before I was born. Your parents have been married heaps longer than mine, I suppose. Probably want to get away from each other by now. Yeah. You know, Brittany, there is such a thing as happily ever after. I know that, Hector. My parents approve of it. So where should I have gone anyway? He was in a hurry this morning. And what was the big suitcase for? Is he going on a holiday on his own? <laughs> what? Nothing. I think Mr Frankel's cool. I think his head's too small for his body. It is not. It's just the right awesomely cute size. Looks like Taylor's mum thinks he's pretty cute too. <laughs> this is very exciting. Do we set up the tent first? Or There's one economy here, we need to follow straight. What's up? Sure Nothing. Sure. There's definitely something up. Your mum's having more fun than you are. She's just distracting herself. And what? I think they're splitting up, Hector. Mum and Dad. No, that can't be right. Who? Who's splitting up? Mum and Dad. Really? Are you sure? You must have misunderstood something. You're probably jumping to conclusions. You do that. She does that. Not this time. Brittany even saw him go. I saw him go. They had a huge fight and Dad left with the suitcase. Attention, please. As this is a survival camp, I'd appreciate it if any mobile phones could be switched off for the duration of the camp. Have a worry. OK. Boys, over here, please. Hey. Um, where do you think your dad's gone? I don't know. What if he's just gone? What if I never see him again? Girls, follow me, please. OK, boys, let's go. How old do you think Mr Frankel is? OK, come on, move along. He hasn't got wrinkles. So he's too young for my mum, isn't he? OK. Has she got a crush on Mr Frankel? No, I don't know. You just said that... No wonder she's so excited. So do you think she does? Well, he's cute. Do you think your dad knows? OK, girls, Let's go, boys, please. Pick number off. One, two, three, four. Face your fears, Taylor. You can do it, Pumpkin! One, two, three, go! Come on, Taylor, just close your eyes and jump. You can do it. You can do it. I don't want to do it. One, two, three, go! It's just like jumping off the high tower at the pool. You've never jumped off the high tower at the pool. Well, that's irrelevant. Don't hassle a Hector. She's upset. Her parents are getting a divorce. No, they're not. Yes, they are. One, two, three, go! Oh. It's not just the divorce. Taylor thinks her mum might be falling in love. With him. Him who? Him, him. Well done. You okay? 
warm now. Oh, you did great, except for the lady. Something wrong? Oh, I'm going to help Mr. Frankel with his 11.30 survival in the wild. You don't know the first thing about survival in the wild. Mr. Frankel does. He's a mine of useful information. Did you see that? See what? That. She can't keep away from him. He's a mine of useful information. He's a teacher. My dad knows more about survival than Frankel Fertile or Leveno. Have they told you that they're getting a divorce? No, but they're afraid to. They'll face their fears soon. Kayla, I think it's all in your head. You have a very active imagination. It says so every year in your report card. Not this time. This time it's real. Do you have any real evidence that it's real? She told him to go and he left with a suitcase. Apart from water, warmth is a major survival necessity. And in the bush, warmth usually means fire. But what if we don't have matches? We stand around and wait for lightning to hit a tree. Yeah, that'd do it. This is a more reliable means. And you get to keep your eyebrows. <laughs> this will take forever. Practice makes perfect, Brittany. <laughs> what? There's a total fire ban. Isn't there? Taylor is very sorry, Mr. Frankel. Aren't you, Taylor? Oh, it's just a bit of water now. I'm done. All right, then, 11.45, Bush Tucker. It sounds right, exciting, doesn't it? Please, please. Living off the land? Aren't you on a diet? <laughs> Mr. Frankel assures me bush tucker is nature's way of keeping him slim. I'll race you there. I'm not hungry. Well, then be thirsty for knowledge. Did you see the way that they look at each other? No. I think they're falling in love. I think you need a reality check. Boys, use your eyes scan. It's nature's kitchen. Let's go. Mr. Frankel! Is this an edible berry? Nicely spotted, Mrs. Fry. <laughs> Gather round, everyone. Mrs. Fry has found the native raspberry, scientific name Rubus hillii. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Taylor, what on earth? I was looking for edible fruit. Oh, oh. Are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. Taylor's the athlete's friend. Oh, oh. I've broken Mr. Frankel's foot. Sorry. Only two k's to go. How about a sprint to the finish, oh. team? Oh. Only joking. How's it going? Marvelously. How's the foot holding up? Oh. 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 Tripped on some stray undergrowth, Mrs. Fry. Uh. Where does it hurt? Is it broken? No, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh. Uh, he's fine, Mum. Oh. Hey, is the athlete's friend? Oh. That's right, Taylor. And only two k's to go. Oh. Oh. That worked. See? Still think it's in my imagination? Actually, Taylor, I'm more concerned that you're becoming a danger to society. A sprained wrist, while not life-threatening, is certainly painful. Sprain injuries are one of the most common types of injuries incurred in the great outdoors. Any Touching idea how again. we treat sprains? My yeah, I think touching is kind of necessary in first aid. Not if I can help oh, oh, Hector, I need you to create a diversion. Taylor, remember that thing I said before about you being a danger to Hector! Sister? I need you. What sort of diversion? Help! Can't get down! Somebody help! I'm stuck up here! Did you get up here in the first place? It was an accident. Camp ladder. Has anyone seen the camp ladder? Stay there, Hector. Remember, the first rule of survival is remain calm at all times. So don't panic. Hello, Dad? Dad, are you there? Hello? Hold on, I can't hear you. Just a second. There you go. Oh, oh no, I've lost you again. No, Dad, don't hang up. I'll find some service somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> what I 
can't understand is what was the ladder doing up the creek in the canoe in the first place? You okay now? I'll never climb another tree. <laughs> Dad, no, 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 don't hang up. Dad? Hang on just a sec. Hello? There's got to be some good reception around here somewhere. Do you know where Taylor went? Uh, I saw her before. Thanks, Leon, but, I mean, have you seen her since I was up in the tree? Getting worried. She should be back by now. Have a mandarin. I bought them with me because you know, like bush sucker sucks. I can't eat when I'm worried. She should be back by now. She only went to make a phone call. Well, which way did she go? I couldn't find a signal anywhere. Desperate to make some calls. What if she's lost? She's probably just having a long conversation. What if she is lost? We'll find her. In five thousand hectares of national park. We'll find her. Come on. West, and that must be east. So there is a camp. Hey, Dad, where are you? So, we're lost, are we? Badly. It's 5,000 hectares, this park. It's not funny. No, it's not funny. You know the worst part? What? My mum and dad are splitting up. No, no, don't cry. I, I mean it, please. I, I haven't even been waterproofed yet. I, I... I still can't find a signal. This is so annoying. What sort of national park is this? Taylor's out there all alone. I think we should go back to camp and see if she's back here. What if she's not? Hey, she will be. Yeah, let's go. It's that way. No, no, I'm pretty sure it was that way. I thought it was that way. Are we lost too? We are, aren't we? We're lost. I'm lost with a nerd and a little bug. Help! Anyone? Which was camp? Oh, that way. It's that way. I'm almost positive it's that way. I thought it was um that way. So what do we do now, guys? Uh, oh, we keep warm. We make a fire. Act as a signal, like Frank will Right, right. But how? We don't have any matches. <laughs> I should have paid more attention. No, it's Frankel's third is fault for not making it interesting. It's not that cold. Yet. What if we all split up into the different directions we think camp is? One of us will be right. The other three will be even more lost and separated again. What if we fall off a cliff in the dark? Or get bit by a snake? Or starve? Uh, OK, Leon, OK. I've got a good idea. We stay here together, using our survival skills, until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? I'll die if I don't check my message bank soon. Yeah, and I'm not even bush tucker. I'll throw up. What's the rest of the plan? That's it. Survival lesson number three. Combine your resources. Lesson four. Divide your resources equally. Last one. 
men, check the rest of the tents. Take Simon with you. No one's seen her. What, what about the others? Well, I can't find them either. I better call Don. I'll call the other parents too. Great, I've lost my phone. Oh, there's a phone in the office. It'll be dark soon. I'm saving mine for a late night snack, if we are here late. Oh, I can't wait any longer. They're probably looking for us now. It's too dark. They won't find us. What if they don't find us? Uh, survival lesson number five, don't panic. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Is anyone scared? No. 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 It's very bad. I feel as if we're going around in circles. What happened to remaining calm at all times? We could be looking in completely the wrong direction. At least we're eliminating possibilities. Don! Any oh. sign? No, not yet. OK. Once we've done north, we'll do east, south and west and all the points in between. Come on, let's go! Leon, are you OK? Yeah, yeah, why wouldn't I be? You're not scared, are you? I'm not scared of anything. Well, I am. And at least I'm man enough to admit it. Yeah? Like what? Like, I don't know. Some man. Like leaving school. Leaving school? What's so scary about leaving school? I'm gonna lose my friends. So, Liam, what are you scared of? Not leaving school. Always the joker. Hey, can we please change the subject? How convenient. Fine, I'm scared of ending up like my old man. See, was that so hard? And I'm kind of scared of the dark. The dark? What about you, Brittany? The dark? Well... I'm kind of scared of people not liking me. Which people? Any people. Well, we like you, don't we, guys? Yeah. Sometimes. We really do like you. My worst fear is coming true. My mum and dad are splitting up. It's true. One. There. Oh, over there. There. Yep. Okay. She said to love. 
Oh, good. Oh, good, good, good. Oh. You know, it was my idea to follow those peels. Ah, like father, like daughter. We share a light bulb, you and me. <laughs> you know one of the reasons why your mother and I love each other so much? Because of you, Squirt. We gave each other you. <laughs> and then there's Layla. Oh, please don't start on Layla, Don. Do you know I had to take your sister a whole suitcase full of clothes yesterday? The morning after her sleepover with Julie? Because she simply didn't have a thing left to wear from the suitcase I took the night before. You were apoplectic. I practically had to kick you out of the house. <laughs> and then she asks me to go lip gloss shopping on the way. Really? Yeah. Do you know how much a pot of pale pink passion costs? With nail nourishment slash moisturiser? Thinks I'm made of money. And she took my talk. <laughs> so you guys aren't getting a divorce. You're not splitting up. No. no, why should we do something like that? Never mind. Where on earth did you get that idea, darling? What are you thinking? Wandering off like that, huh? Lighten up a little bit. Brittany's had a very frightening experience. She should be more responsible. Well, couldn't you show a little heart? Just once. Oh, I'm afraid the four of us are stuck with each other. All good. Unless we have to take out a second mortgage to pay for Layla's lip gloss. In which case, I might get a job in a mine somewhere. <laughs> Hilarious, Dad. Uh, TV series, movie, book. Tom! <laughs> Five words? Two pass for the best way. Thank you. Whoa. 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 Hungry. <laughs> <laughs>